All right, so let's make this topic digestible. Um, real estate is changing the having the biggest change in the last 30, 40, 50 years probably uh, if this goes through. So bear with me a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to summarize it and keep it short and keep it understandable. Um, National Association of Realtors, which pretty much most real estate agents are bullied into being part of. Uh, the NAR is going to be upset if they, they hit us, but whatever. Um, you have to be part of this organization basically to get access to a whole bunch of real estate things that you need to operate as a real estate agent. And they got sued by all these people selling their houses saying, why the heck am I paying the buyer's commission? And so this was going along for a long time, and now there is a settlement on the table that has to be approved by a judge. So it's still pending, but I don't see any reason why the judge wouldn't sign off on it. So, And I'm not a lawyer. I have no idea. But the big takeaway from this is that in the MLS where agents are looking at properties and are able to – they normally, if you represent a buyer – if you work with a buyer, they will be able to see what the commission offered to the buyer side is. So normally, uh, when you list your house, you would agree to, say, a 6% commission, and maybe 3% of that is offered publicly to the buyer's agent to incentivize them to bring their qualified buyers to look at your house and potentially buy it. The settlement, the biggest part of the settlement is, well, number one, NAR is paying $418 million, although they're not admitting any wrongdoing, but they're still paying. <laughs> um, but the, the big part is that you will no longer be able to broadcast to the buyer's agent a commission to incentivize them to come. So if you guys don't know, generally in real estate, you're going to have a listing agent who represents the seller. So they are supposed to get the seller the most money and do whatever the seller wants them to do. Um, if they want to sell the house fast or wh whatever, um, they're a fiduciary for the seller. So they're supposed to put the seller's interest above their own as an agent. And then you have a buyer's agent who represents the home buyer. And the again, they have a fiduciary responsibility to the buyer. And they're supposed to act in the buyer's best interest, get the house at the lowest price, and negotiate, protect them in due diligence, all that kind of stuff. And so the way that real estate has been working is that that buyer's agent sees, oh, this listing has a 3% commission, so I'm cool with showing the client that property. Um, but now that's no longer going to be there. So the question is, how is real estate even going to work right now? And what's going to happen with buyer agency and what's this going to do with consumers? Do you guys think I explained that well? I don't know. Hopefully. I think you did. Yeah, I think you did. Think you you want to fill anything in? or You said something, a uh, hot topic. and I'm a, I said a hot topic? Yeah. Go, go right for it. What's so going on? you brought up the fact, um, obviously, you know, uh, as an agent, you know, we have to look out for our client's best interest. And I was just thinking about it. And I'm like, hmm. Well, there it goes. There it goes. You're in, right? So, like you said, um, if you can't post the fact that they're offering a a buyer's agent um, like a co-op fee, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. which is fine. If you have a house for sale, and my job is to have your best interest at heart, and I'm bringing my customer to to you, if I were to put in the contract that hey, I want this, and I give the best offer. And you don't present it to your buyer because I want this. Are you looking at? Are you looking for your seller in the best interest? Right. That's that's where this weird stuff happens mm -hmm. because the interest of the agents can get in because commission can get in the way of the transaction. Right. So that's what I'm happen? saying. I, I don't know. You kind of your hand is kind of forced at that point to give it to your to your seller. Well, you have to present all offers. Right. That, well, that's why you have a, a, a commission agreement, though. So going back to Miranda's point up front, if we put it in the in the information up front that, hey, listen, we will try to obtain X, Y, Z from the seller in mm -hmm. our contract when we, when we rock with the buyer, then by the time that we present that offer, it's kind of like, what you going to do? Put up or shut up. Well, that that's the problem, right? So if I'm a buyer's agent and I am trying to negotiate commission from the seller – that's a negative for the buyer because then they're going to not want to do it. Why? What if I present the best offer? 
and True. the seller does want to sell their house, right? They do. And you have to look out for your seller's best interest. Right. So are you going to stand in the way? That is a good seller? point. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like with this lawsuit, I feel like in this settlement, I feel like these people were not explained like how it worked. Like didn't your agent come to you and talk about you know how the commission works and what's being done before you agree to it because at the end of the day you signed a contract with that percentage on there with under with that that usually says that you have understanding of what you're about to pay i'll tell towards. you what here's why it's a problem because it it and this gets legal but it gets to the sherman antitrust act right because they force you to do it even though it's a contract uh there's not really an alternative option right so like yeah you could list your house and not offer a commission to the buyer's agent there's always uh for sale by owner yes you're not really forced at all you are forced if you're going to work with an agent you have to comply with this system there's but multiple agents said, if you're going to work with an agent yeah you don't have to work with an agent at all to sell your house but they have a monopoly on the mls that, that so that's the argument with that's why right, but you can actually pay to you can pay to get your house on the mls you can without an agent you can so all i could say with that is that that's why they had to settle though and that's why they were losing the lawsuits is because it's anti-competitive behavior by nar is what the judges were finding that's why they settled because otherwise it so if your argument won they wouldn't have had to make this change. And that's the issue is that it's uncompetitive to, they bully you into having to do it pretty much. Or, oh, good luck with for sale by owner. And then you're stuck on this alternative way of selling your house, which is, um, be, because here's the thing, different brokerages are working with each other um, and not being, it's not a fair market exactly because they're working together and not competing, mm -hmm. right? For example, mm -hmm. if Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint, and all the telephone companies got together and said, mm -hmm. we're gonna all raise our rates mm -hmm. and not lower it below this amount, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's against the law. That's a, it's an antitrust issue. Yeah. So if X real estate company, because I don't wanna use names, and, and B real estate company communicate with each other um, saying, hey, we're gonna operate like this so that we can make sure that commissions are stable. That's anti-competitive. Mm -hmm. But I feel like and the brokerages are still gonna yeah. do that in some way with this new settlement because now you have to figure out how it's gonna work for the sellers and the buyers with this big change. So how what's gonna be done? Are we still gonna offer buyer side you know, commission or providing that commission up front or at settlement. And I feel like people are going to start going with the, the waves of the motion and how everybody's doing things. And it's just going to create a system that everyone's kind of sticking with. I think they will try to come to a system. I think that mm -hmm. the thing that they're trying to solve for, and I don't know if it's the solution like that works for the, the cons consumers but what they're trying to solve for is that things need to be more negotiable, right? So mm -hmm. if I'm a buyer's agent and uh, someone wants to buy a house and they're trying to deal with me, they have the ability to negotiate with me as, as an agent. And I think before everything was so standardized that there's not much negotiation, even though when you go through training, and that's why they harp on that, oh, it's negotiable mm -hmm. with the 6%. Is it really like that? It's the only game in town. 